All right, y'all, this is my nephew that you can't even see because his hair is crazy. What are you getting done, bro? What do you want? Just from the front up. Hold on, hold on. Come on lift your hair up. I want the hair to stop coming from my eyes. So whenever I'm playing, it doesn't distract me. And then I want to fade. Wait, so you want to cut some off? Yeah, like from the front. Just from the front? Yeah. Not off the top? No. Because then, because I still want it growing, <laughs> so I can get a man bun. You know, with a with a with a man bun though, you need this length yeah. to be able to go back. I just want it a little bit, so it doesn't cover my eyes. Boy, you got cut that much off, and then it ain't gonna reach. That's Your fine. man bun's gonna look like this. That's fine. That's how you want it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, what are you doing here on the sides? On the sides, I just want a fade. A fade. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Do you want this cut down? Uh, yeah. You don't want to let it grow out. Yeah, let it grow up. Let it grow up? Yeah. All right. YouTube, what's going on, guys? If you don't know by now, if you missed the consultation because you skipped it, it's a very important part of the video. You shouldn't skip it. Um, but this is my nephew. And he wanted to trim the front because his priority in life is sports. And although he wants to keep this crazy mess on top of his head, my son's doing the same thing. Um, priority is sports. So he wanted it off of his eyes. Yeah, off your eyes. You can see? <laughs> so that he could see. <laughs> yeah, these kids different, bro. All right, so... Um, he just moved down to Tampa from Atlanta, from uh, Loganville, Lawrenceville, uh, those areas. And um, I have not been cutting his hair. So I decided I was going to resection the sides from the top, make it a little bit cleaner. But I can't make it too clean because then we're gonna it's going to be too high. Um, and you're going to have to take off too much from the top. So I just did enough where we can manage it. I'm gonna use a number three to, to, to clear the bulk, but still keep a healthy amount of con like uh, dark hair. You know what I mean? I want that darker tone to set me up for a dope fade. I'm using the Babyliss FX clippers. And these things are Frankensteins, man. I've been messing with these clippers. Yeah, I don't know, but, but you know what I'm saying? These are sleepers right here, because what's inside of them is stupid. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Stay tuned, man. Make sure you subscribed. Make sure notifications is on. Because what's inside of these things is stupid. All right, next step after that number three guard is that two guard. And we're starting open and then closed. Going right beneath where we just left off. We, we're just softening little by little the blend from top to bottom. We're pretty much fading down. Now, it's been a while since I've recorded this cut, so I don't know exactly the steps that I took. But obviously, my next step is the one and a half guard all the way open, closing it by little, using these prototypes that were made by Babyliss as well. Next step is my one guard open, then one guard close. And you can see as we fade down, it's all coming together little by little. You guys see the motion I was using right there in the back of the head? Literally just going straight up and down, not following the curvature of his head. Yo, this beat is crazy, Tito. Shout out to my cousin Tito for this crazy beat. Next up, we're using the half guard. Now what I decided to do was go close and then open it little by little to blend into where we left off with that number one guard. Yeah, this beat is smooth. Hey, Georgia, we needed to use this one on Life of Basio a little bit. By the way, make sure you go check out my new channel. If you rock with me, man, and you just want to follow, you know, Life of Basio, go check out my channel. Link is in the description. All right, next step, now that we've opened it up and blended that half guard into that one, we're going to clipper all the way close and opening it little by little until it blends into the half guard. It's pretty simple. All 
all right so now we're about we're close we're going up a little bit more going up about a quarter inch at a time opening it up about a quarter of the way at a time by the time we're all the way open with this clipper the face should be completely blended and the last step should only be to bald him out and and finish it off with the shaver now i want you to remember we will detail this after the lineup He's only going to get his vertical bar and his C cup lined up because we're going to let the front grow out. Guys, not everybody wants their hairline shaved down for a lineup. Some people just want it to look symmetrical. That's it. Some people don't like that look, you know what I mean? So it's something that you need to make sure that you, you consult with your client and make sure you're not just doing whatever you want to do like a lot of barbers like this is part of being a successful barber about building clientele is giving the clients what they want caring about what they want you feel me like so many barbers just kind of do their thing and here's what you do you just do your thing because you want that quick buck but each client is not worth that quick buck if you lock them in they're worth a year's worth of haircuts guys for some of you guys that's that's your thing like that's that's a thousand two thousand dollars a year for some of these guys that you just gonna rush out your chair it makes no sense guys the blend's coming out crazy all right so we're putting the c cup in using these prototype babyless trimmers oh yeah that's coming out clean all right, now we can start to bald him out with the trimmers. Now, notice that I'm starting right where I left off with the clipper all the way closed. I'm doing that on purpose because I, I just want to focus on not creating a, another line. Then I'll go ahead and clear all this hair at the bottom. Where we're clearing the hair right now is where the shaver will be. So once I've done the C cup, man, I could see like a little bit of imperfections here. And I'm using the X ergos from Gamma to detail. Like I tell you guys all the time, I really like switching up clippers um, when I'm going to detail. And the X ergos are dope to switch up to because they're a completely different type of motor, completely different type of cut. Um, all right guys so we did the left side let's go ahead and knock out this right side i'm gonna shut up for a little bit and let you guys follow along
All right, here we go. We're going to line him up. And one thing y'all didn't notice is I was holding his head the whole time because kids, man, no matter, it, it all depends where they're looking. If they're looking down, little by little, their head's going to move down. If they're looking at the TV, little by little, you already know. If you notice, you know, that's kind of that's kind of something you got to provide for kids to stay, keep their head up. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's looking pretty blurry. I'm gonna lie, it's looking kind of blurry. Now, one thing that I tend to notice is when I fade down, my blends they're a lot more stretched, um, which is fine. This is this is a look that I I like on him, um, especially with a man bun, because it it. Stretch blends tend to have a more flat look from a front profile, a more squared look from a front profile, where um, a lot of times compressed blends from a front profile look, a, a, they kind of um, flare out a little bit, right? Like, I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from, um, but nonetheless, this stretch blend was by design. I chose to fade down by design. So we, we just finished off with the shaver and now we're kind of detailing with scissor over comb. Just looking for dark areas that we can kind of lighten up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do his verticals. Remember, we're not lining up his hairline. We're gonna let that grow out. All right, we're gonna put the razor on them. We're using the Tomb 45 triple cartridge razor. Comes with three different exposures, blade exposures. You can get at tomb45.com. And what blade exposure is, is how far this cutting blade sticks out. Um, everybody's a little bit different, but with this blade, you have three different options. And we are gonna enhance the cut. It didn't need enhancements, but I want to enhance it because I like the look, because my clients like the look. Go try and, you know, make it, take cut to the next level so if you notice i did get some overspray on his skin so i sprayed a little bit of alcohol on my blade and i used that to um go ahead and remove some of the color and guys look at the before <laughs> this boy is crazy that's the look he want man hey this is the after and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks with his hair down. Cause it don't make no damn sense. Why I put in all this work on this fade for him to walk around with this style. Check it out. Oh yeah. That's what you wanted? You just wanted it off the eyes. So I did all that fading. And you can't even see the fade because you got hair hanging all over it. Unbelievable. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the young nephew. All right, so y'all have a good one. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.